Radio Freedom. You are listening to the front page Saturday edition town hall meeting on the COVID crisis. We're going to be doing uh, the Saturday edition for a while now. Every Saturday, I want to thank uh, the Independent Professionals Association and Council President Emeritus Herb Wesson for supporting this show. Uh, and making it possible on Saturdays. And I want to thank you for uh, tuning in. By the way, if you have a question about your personal finance, uh, how to get help with anything, uh, 520-KJLH, 520-5554 from whatever Southern California area code you have going on. Uh, comedian, um, actress Cheryl Underwood is with us, uh, business owner, real estate uh, investor and uh, founder of the Business and Entrepreneurship Academy at Crenshaw High, Maynard Brown is with us, and the CEO of Community Build, Robert Salcedo, is with us. Time flies when you're on the radio, does it not? Um, want to keep going to calls, but Mr. Salcedo, I wanted to bounce back to you um, and really uh, thank Community Build also for making this possible on Saturdays. Tell me what you know. What you really want people to know. I mean, where would you go? There is different kinds of resources um, for people, and some people are struggling with things little and big. Where would you have them start? Sure. So let me, let me share with you first what we created here. So we started the Community Response System of South Los Angeles, and again, that's a collective of nonprofits, churches, and organizations who already are doing good work, but operate and we're. We're providing air traffic control, if you would. Our website is www.crssla.org, www.crssla.org. That website is very robust with uh, uh, constant updates on information on the home page if you scroll down. So the, young, the lady that called about her apartment building, there's information about Vermont Slauson on there. That's probably a good starting point as well to help with, navigate the SBA process. Um, and what we've done with that, that site as well is we have a number of locations where there's uh, opportunities to get food. So, for example, uh, Community Bill will be providing bags of groceries this Tuesday at our offices in Lamert Park at 43rd and Degnan. And, and uh, excuse me, that, that's incorrect. This Tuesday will be at 88th Street Temple Church of God in Christ this Tuesday. Um, and that's at 88th in Vermont. Uh, we'll have back grocery bags there. And then on Thursday, we'll have it at our Lamert Park office. Um, and that is food provided by the Sam Simon Foundation. And we, to date, we've given out over 200,000 pounds of food in the last couple of weeks. So that, so that website is very robust. The other site I would direct you to on Facebook is Coronavirus Community Response System of South Los Angeles. And what that uh, page does is there's, it's a dynamic page where people are constantly adding information. You can get information there. It's real time. So very helpful um, process. I also want to encourage everyone, uh, this is a time to get familiar with the websites of your council members, so Herb Wesson, Curran Price, Marquise Harris-Dawson, and all the rest of the council members, as well as your uh, county supervisor in the 2nd District, Mark Lilly Thomas. Our page is simple as possible. Um, so that we can um, get people the help that they need. Um, and we're doing all of this digitally. Obviously, we don't have enough bandwidth to handle all the phone calls. But on our website, if you register uh, to be a network provider, you can just make that known. If you have a need for resources, uh, we have, uh, with the help of U University of Southern California, USC, they've provided us with uh, 10 interns and a grant to assist in these efforts. And so we do have a team now that's able on our back office to follow up with people that have needs. And so I want to encourage you to do that. And once again, www.crssla.org. Um, and we're going to put this up at kjlhradio.com. All of these resources uh, will eventually end up at kjlhradio.com. But you're talking C as in Charles, R as in Robert, S as in Sam, S as in Sam, LA as in LA.org, right? That, that's correct. Okay. Um, Wow, it's it's busy around here. So pleased that people want to check in and share their knowledge. Um, you know, we're being um, joined right now on the phone um, by the uh, former tr California State Treasurer. He was Treasurer from 2014 to 2019. Before that, he was Controller from 2007 to 2015. I'm talking about uh, John Chang. Good morning, sir. 
Good Saturday morning, Dominic. Uh, first <laughs> of all, just thank you very much for the exemplary service that you're providing, connecting resources with our fellow Angelinos. Oh, I appreciate that. That's what KGLH is all about. Um, so how do you see this crisis? I mean, you are, you know, a, an accountant extraordinaire to the highest level, right? And also have worked in the highest levels of government. And, you know, we've got all these resources coming, federal, state, city, county. How do you see this picture? Well, as uh, your previous speaker so articulately uh, advanced, uh, we're not in this alone. And we, should, for your listeners out there, don't feel you're out alone. Uh, people are stepping up. Uh, we need to find the better angels within each other. If you don't understand what's happening, uh, look for subject matter experts. Uh, and so there's a lot of programs that are being advanced uh, at the federal, state, and local levels. Uh, they can be a little bit difficult to understand. Uh, make sure that you, you're you bringing into your circle the experts that can help walk you through the process so that you can take full advantage of uh, these opportunities to get you through some very difficult times. Yeah, it's, I mean, a lot of us don't even know where to start, but I think uh, Robert Salcedo said, you know, let's look at our, our lawmakers' websites. Um, and if you were me, or if you were us, looking at um, the federal programs, how would you approach that? Uh, so, first of all, if, uh, if you're making, if you're single uh, and making less than $75,000, uh, make sure that uh, you're looking towards that they call it stimulus check of up to $1,200. Uh, I call it a relief check because we're not going through economic stimulus at this time. Uh, if you fell into the category where you did not uh, file for taxes in 2018 or 19, and you made less uh, than $75,000, make sure to go on to the IRS website, the uh, irs.gov, and enter your information so that you do get that $1,200 check. And then if it's if you're married, it's up to double that. Uh, if you uh, have been furloughed or temporarily lost your work or you have a reduction uh, in your earnings, uh, make sure to file for unemployment insurance. Uh, the federal government just gave money to states so that they could add $600 onto the previously existing cap uh, for state unemployment insurance. That should help you uh, get through this period a little bit easier than you otherwise would have not. If you have questions, right, go on to the website. If you don't have access uh, to Internet service, then we have to think about there's so many people, especially in the eastern half of the states and certain pockets in urban communities that don't have that Internet access. Uh, call your, as Robert said and you, your program pointed out, call your local elected officials and ask for their assistance to walk you through the process. All right, um, we have a comedian, actress, superstar, and friend of uh, KJLH, Cheryl Underwood, on the line with us. Uh, Miss Underwood, I know you got a million things to do, and I so appreciate you checking in with us this morning. But what would you leave us with? I mean, you know, I think it's so important for us to laugh, for one thing, throughout this time. And I've appreciated l just following different comics and things uh, online and sometimes checking in. Are you doing anything we can check out online on YouTube or something? And, and and what, what would you leave us with this morning? Well, one one of the things that I appreciate is that um, we have this new technology, but we need the old school matching the new school. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot of music online. I'm working on something, but it's not ready yet. But what I will say is, uh, under the Viacom CBS family, BET is having a COVID-19 uh, call to action program. I think it's April 22nd. And I'm very happy that BET is doing this because, you know, we want to play our part in helping people get through this. And uh, for people that don't know, uh, there's a brother that's uh, up in charge up at uh, CBS, and his name is George Cheeks. He comes from NBC Universal. He just started March 23rd. So I think there's going to be uh, some new initiatives and things happening up at Viacom CBS. And we want to play a part in that. As far as comedians, you got comedians all over Los Angeles. We are trying to come together, not just to help them, because, you know, once the comedy club closed down, they're in trouble as well. 
Yeah. And they're all people that make you smile and make you laugh. So we're trying to look out for them, uh, all of those that are out there, especially in Los Angeles and those that move to Los Angeles. Last but not least, the thing I'd like to leave you with is we, we've always come together. We've always come together as a people, no matter what our station in life was, and we will continue to do that. Radio is the key. Radio is the key. Television. Don't watch so much news where it stresses you out. Watch mm-hmm. things that make you happy, but get your knowledge. Be fair. Check on your neighbors and community service organizations. I'm a member of Zeta Phi Beta. We still need to be out in the community. And I just heard a commercial where you can still, what, was it Jack? Where you can still order? <laughs> can you order your food? You can still order from a lot of places, yes, and many are delivering now, too, if you, you know, you got it like that. And that's small business. And, Dominique, thank you for doing this. And we would hope that all of us will be able to call in. Maybe we could call in the front page at front page funny. And maybe we'll pass <laughs> the mic to different I love that. comedians as we have to stay on this lockdown. And thank you for allowing me to just call in. I, I'm an Angelino now. Y'all see me driving around with my head scarf on, trying to find <laughs> good toilet paper and good paper towels. <laughs> Cheryl Underwood, thank you so much. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bug you about that. I love that. Front page, pass the mic. We need some giggles around here. A- absolutely. And, and, and also, let's talk about what we got to do with this voting situation because I I just think we need to remember everything that's happening, good and bad, as we get toward November. Am I right, Dominique? Absolutely. Good, bad, and uh, action-oriented. We can do a lot from home, trust and believe. That's right. That's right. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. And we love KJLH and my KJLH family. God bless you. Bye-bye, Ms. Underwood. Thank you. Um, Let's go to uh, Rosie Milligan calling us from Los Angeles. Good morning, Dr. Rosie Milligan. Good morning, Dominique. Thanks for the show. Uh, Two points I want to make, because I'm testing everything they say they have out there going on so I can see if they're telling the truth or pulling our legs. You know what I mean? I'm applying for everything. And I want to say, because of the technology illiteracy among a lot of our people, and because of the stay home in process, I'm really worried as to how those people who cannot maneuver will be able to get help. And when I say help, I'm talking about personal free help. Number three, the banks don't want you coming in there asking them about anything. Only they tell you online about the uh, uh, payroll protective program and all of that. That right. don't go into the banks that they don't know anything about that. So you don't need to fasten up in there thinking Bank of America is going to help you. Get somebody help you online. I okay, hope there's some money out there, Dominique, that they can pay uh, uh, some people a grant or something to help these people. But there's too many people in our community that don't know what to do with computers. So I hope. That, okay, let's have our know, panel respond to the points. To get the money. Yeah, you've brought up quite a few points, uh, Rosie Milligan. Appreciate you. Let's let's have the panel respond. Um, so this sounds like maybe a Maynard Brown question. If uh, not everyone in the banks knows what's going on, I've heard this from others too. They call, they hear one thing from one person, one thing from another. Right. They're, they're getting mixed messages, which is why, uh, and Robert, you can chime in here. One of the, the, the real, uh, resources in our community, if you, and a lot of people don't trust banks, including our small business owners. So, I understand where uh, Dr. Milligan is, is what she's talking about. Uh, however, uh, to the caller earlier probably doesn't qualify for a paycheck pr- uh, protection program loan anyway. Right. They would fall up under the 7A loan, which comes under the Community Development Corporations, the CDC 504 loans is what they call them. And Vermont Slauson, I believe, is one of those organizations. Robert, am I right about that? That's uh, the Vermont yeah, Slauson yeah, Economic yeah. Development Corporation. Yeah. Their link is yeah. up at KJLHradio.com. And Robert uh, yeah. Salcedo, you were saying they, they would be able to administer that? Well, they're, they're definitely offering technical assistance in this regard. This, this, but let's keep in mind one thing, because I don't want to beat up on the banks too bad. This is a dynamic process that's being rolled out. So I think most of the banks are behind and, of course, getting their folks trained, but they're getting there. Um, the uh, City National Bank, for example, has put out $1.3 billion in this, in this funding to their customers 
But for those of you, now when you do apply, make sure that you look at the fine print. You're not required to open up a credit card or what have you. And if some of that's going on, you'll need to report it. But first line of defense, use people like Vermont's Loss and Economic Development Corporation, PCR, et cetera. And again, that is on the website for KJLH to get to. Um, it's very, but, but the process is dynamic and it's ever changing, sometimes by the hour. And so you just have to stay on top of things. I do want to highlight one very important thing that everyone listening and sitting at home to, while they shelter in place, please, please say, please fill out your census paperwork while you're at home. Go online and do it. The last census, we lost $650 billion in California over the last 10 years because of undercounting. This is your opportunity to get that done now so that we do have future resources as well. Yeah, we talked about that on the show yesterday. Um, my Census 2020, or if you type in 2020 Census, they got every website conceivable. Um, and you can do it. It's pretty quick. I did mine yesterday. It just takes a few minutes. So it's not bad at all. Um, PCR, by the so, way, is Pacific so, Coast if Regional. I could jump in here, it, Dominique. Yeah, just one moment, please. Uh, Pacific yeah. Coast Regional, he referred to PCR. That's a small de- uh, business development corporation, PCRCorp.org. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Right. Brown. Yeah, no, that's correct. That's uh, PCR, uh, Vermont Slauson. But the, I think it's really important here just to chime in and say it, that would be a two-step process because they they provide the technical assistance and then the kind of the bridge into the bank that you would go to, for example, City National Bank. Um, we do a lot of things with them. Uh, you know, and they have a, a branch right there on Crenshaw Boulevard. Uh, those are, that is a way in which a small entrepreneur of small business could go in, get the technical assistance that they need because they're going to need it. And then the next step then would be, uh, the formal process of, of applying for the loan. Got and it. again, it would be the 7A loan, the CDC five, what they call CDC 504 loan. Okay, I also want to point out, as uh, Rosie Milligan was talking about, people that are not uh, technically savvy for um, computers, and as as did John Chung, uh, that we have a L.A. County COVID Disaster Help Center. It's 833-238-4450, 833-238-4450. Forty-four fifty. They're open weekdays, um, eight to four thirty. They probably can um, also refer you uh, to some help or walk you through something step by step um, to try to figure out what it is you need uh, to do if you are not online. Um, uh, Dominic, Dominic, yes, Robert. Again, you have you have another minute to go. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real quick. I also want to say for the medical professionals who are out there that are listening. It's very important that you know that uh, as part of the CARES Act, there's $30 billion set aside for you to pre-fund your billings right now so you can have cash flow. Um, And if you just go to the CMS website, you all know, deal with that on a regular basis. You can pre-fund based on your receivables um, from last year um, for a couple of months worth of receivables to help your, your, your practices. So make sure that you do that so you can continue to provide the valuable service to the community. Mm, important stuff um yeah uh, we are going to a break here but um um our former state treasurer um john chung how do you what what would you leave us with this morning what do you want people to know that they that they're not getting or what's the big picture um here that you know would be helpful for us uh that they're going to have to stay resilient uh as pointed out in the earlier conversation things are very dynamic and they're going to change we had this first wave of action. There's going to be more action uh, that's going to be needed. Uh, so be, be prepared. And then as one of my childhood heroes uh, used to say, uh, anybody can be great because anybody can serve. So wait, whatever you can do, most importantly, right, make sure that you're safe. Stay at home to the best extent possible. But there's others in greater need. So let's, let's look after each other. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing where you're going to be serving next. I don't suppose you'd be willing to uh, drop any hints. (laughs) Well, I I work for a healthcare company now, so we're we're out there testing, making sure uh, uh, that we identify those who are in greatest need. Hmm. Well, something tells me we'll see you in public office again sometime soon. Bless you. Dominique, if I could, I want to thank John. John, hello. This is Maynard Brown. John uh, actually convened the Financial Literacy Commission I sat on several years ago. 
And uh, he's done some really great work in our community, and I want to thank him for that. So good Indeed morning, he has, God. and some great work uh, as a public servant as well. I really, really appreciate it and appreciate you checking in with us this morning. Um, Mr. Brown, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning as well. Thank you, Dominique, and anytime, anytime. And, I, and, and if, if I just could, we didn't talk about individuals and families. Okay, let's but, do it on uh, the other side of this break. Forward, I, we'll do it on the other side. Let's do it on the other side of this break. Um, we'll be back with more. We're going all the way till 10 o'clock. It's the front page, Radio Free, 102.3 KJLH.